hi friends uh, good morning and good evening to all of you i hope you all are doing well so in this video we will discuss about sql transformation so regarding sql transformation i have already created one created one video so in that video what we have done we have directly discussed how to use sql query there okay but uh, in this video what we will do we will discuss we will discuss about stored procedure transformation okay if some of you uh, have already worked in uh, informatica power center so in informatica power center we have two type of transformation sql transformation and stored procedure transformation okay but in iscs what uh, informatica people have done in iscs sql transformation itself will contain stored procedure transformation okay so there would be not be any separate transformation called stored procedure transformation inside sql transformation itself we will get functionality of stored procedure transformation okay now so this stored procedure transformation is basically of two types in iscs connected and unconnected okay so for connected what we, what will happen this connected one would be in the in its pipeline only okay but if i talk about unconnected it would not be in pipeline what we can do we can create any stored procedure as unconnected and we can call that thing in expression transformation okay so uh, in this video what we will do we will discuss about connected transformation okay uh, stored procedure connected transformation okay and it will fall under sql transformation okay so so what we have done here first of all this is our employee table which is present in your hr scheme okay what i have done i have created one uh, target table in hr schema itself okay underscore sp what i have done in this target table structure is similar to your employees table but i have added one new column called increment salary okay now so what i have done i have created a stored one stored procedure what this stored procedure is doing this stored procedure is taking uh, employee id as input and for each input of employee id what it will do it will increment its salary of each each employee boy by 10 percent okay so that what we have done we have multiplied salary plus salary into 0 0.1 and we have provided into one variable and this is your output thing okay so this is your stored procedure now what we will do we will call this stored procedure in our sql transformation so let's see how it will work okay so this is our source as usual okay if you see in this source what we have taken our we have taken our sources employee table which is present in your hr schema and if i talk about target our target is employee employees underscore sp okay i have used a truncate target option in case if there is any data it will get truncated okay now between that what we have done we have like uh, we have used sql transformation okay this sql transformation we can you can drag and drop from here okay now in this sql transformation if you want to change its name okay so uh, you can change its name also but i have kept it as usual okay now if you see here incoming field okay so incoming fields is your all the incoming fields which are coming okay which you had attached here okay so incoming fields would be all these incoming fields okay now uh, this is your incoming field now this is your sql so what you have to do here in this sql what you have to do you have to provide your connection detail okay because from which database uh, okay or from which connection you uh, you you can select this stored procedure okay so in a chariot scheme itself i have created my procedure so that's why i have provided this connection detail okay and after that what i have done from uh, from here what i have done i have selected this stored procedure okay if you see all the stored stored, proce stored procedure are showing here okay so i have selected this one only okay now so we have discussed about incoming fields sql now if i talk about input fields if you see here as as i have selected this sql transformation so what is whatever the in input field present in this stored procedure that is coming here as input field okay now after that i have to go to field mapping if you see here in this input field okay so what if you see here, what we have done here where employee id equal to iemp id this input id okay so this input id would contain value from my source so what i have done i have dragged and dropped this employee id here that's all okay so output field if you see in output what we are doing here o underscore emp cell 
okay now one more thing i want to tell you here if you have seen my video uh, previous video so what we have done uh, i have done here in that i have taken sql query so in case of if you have selected this sql query instead of sql transformation what would happen in output fields you will able to see this pass through field option as active so in that thing what we can do you can select all the source columns uh, in, in your output as well okay but here in case of stored procedure transformation this field is not active okay now so this is our output hole o underscore mp cell what I, after that what i have done i have just dragged and connected this target okay in this target field if you see here this is our target okay and in this target your incoming field is o underscore emp cell okay and after that what you have to do here field mapping so what we can do here i have mapped here o underscore emp cell with increment cell this is my new column which i have added in my target table okay so this is my valid mapping now so suppose uh, if i run this uh, process it should get loaded but it would load only increment salary column but in case i want to load all these columns also okay in the target what we can do here i can simply i can just connect sorry i can simply connect this with target field okay that's all now once you connect this with out, uh, with this uh, output field let's click on this out target option okay now you go to target fields field mapping you will see all the all the all of your incoming newly incoming field which you have added it, it is coming here okay so you can just go and select a smart map okay so let me validate this again okay now let me run this query okay so till the time it is running so what we have discussed till now uh, let me uh, like summarize this this thing this is our source table this is our target table this is our uh, stored procedure okay this stored procedure will increment the salary for each employee with 10 percent okay and what we have discussed so far uh, the, uh, in ISCS stored procedure transformation is inbuilt inside SQL transformation okay and the stored procedure transformation is of mainly two types in ISCS connected and unconnected one okay and if i talk about uh, connected and unconnected one so connected one would be in, in your pipeline itself okay and uh, this part we have discussed and we have just dragged and dropped if you see here 107 rows has been processed okay let me go and check if data has been loaded in my target table so if you see here 24,010% uh, salary has been incremented 17,000 uh, uh, salary has been incre incremented by 10% uh, and it became 18,700 okay so this is the way uh, like we can implement stored procedure transformation inside your SQL transformation itself okay so what is the benefit of implementing this stored procedure transformation why because sometimes like uh, if you you might face some you want feel some performance issue so in your mapping so so if you if you are using your stored procedure transformation what will happen this stored procedure what you have called in iscs will not take memory of iscs it will directly execute it in your database itself so so in this way your performance could also be improved and it depends on project to project requirement or or uh, so you can use your stored procedure transformation okay so in this video we have discussed about connected one in next video i will try to explain about unconnected stored procedure transformation thank you